Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to play games on your Wii without the disc using the USB Loader GX app. So all you're going to need is a USB stick. I have a 32 gigabyte one I got off Amazon. Some of them might not work, but the ones I have in the description, they work and name brand ones are usually a safe bet. First off, we're going to download two things. Those are also in the description. We're going to go to the D2X CIOS installer scroll down to where it says what you need click on the D2X it'll download you're gonna to want to drag it onto the root of your USB stick move on to USB loader click download this one will take a few seconds and you're gonna drag that one to the same spot from here you're gonna right click and use extract here I used WinRAR which is free and it's going to create an apps folder with that app in it. You're going to do the same to the USB loader, extract it here. Double check that it went into your apps folder. Delete these files, don't need them. Now we have all the apps we need, but now we need games to play. I'm not going to show you how to do it on this video. But basically, you need a folder, WBFS. It has to be called that, and this is where you'll store your games. I'm going to put New Super Mario Bros. in here. Look at that. It appeared out of nowhere. This is the folder style you'll need. It can be named anything. The files in there, game ID. Talk about all that in another video. But now, the USB drive has everything we need. So we're going to eject it and move on to the Wii. We're on the Wii now, and you need to make sure that your USB stick is plugged into port zero which is when the Wii is on its side it is the bottom port I'll put a picture up uh, if it's standing up it's on the right side but for some reason if you put it in the other one it won't read it so just make sure you do that and it won't go wrong and we're gonna go on the homebrew channel if you don't have this I'll link it in the description on how to get it very simple and easy but we're gonna go on it this is where it will read our USB stick and we can install everything we need. So now we're in the, in the homebrew channel. Here's our apps. We're not going to go on USB loader. It's not ready yet. We need to download stuff from D2X CIO installer. So we're going to load it up. So it's loaded up. We're just going to press A to continue. And it's not totally responsive, it takes a minute or two, or a little bit. So now once we're in this page, you control it with the D-pad, and you're gonna go to the first slot, and gonna go right on the D-pad all the way until you get to the V10 Beta 52, D2X V10 Beta 52. Now go down, you're gonna select the CIOA, CIS base, and it's gonna be 57, and it's gonna be slot 249 the bottom one needs to be 65535 in order for this to work and once you have all those ready just press a press a again and it'll download you do need an internet connection for this to work the way we're doing it if you want to download this without internet there is a way you, ha you can do it through wads I'm not sure I've always used the internet to do it because it's easier but some people might not connect to the internet so just look up a way it is possible so there it's all done now the 249 slot is green that means it's good success just press just press a to continue and now the next one is going to be base 56. You're going to leave the top and bottom ones alone. They have to stay like that. Change the base to 56, the slot to 250, and press A. Press A again, and now this one will download. Once that one's a success, press A to continue, and you're going to change the base. Again, leave the top and bottom alone. Change the base to 38, and the slot to 251. Press A, press A again to download this one. This one isn't necessary, your games will still work, but I believe this is for online stuff, multiplayer stuff like that. Once that one's done, press A to continue. Now everything for D2X is, we're done with it. So press B to exit. It'll take you back to the homebrew. 
channel. Give it a second. And now we're gonna go to USB Loader GX. Now, if you didn't add any ROMs, games, uh, onto the USB stick, there's going to be nothing here. But I have one game, New Super Mario Bros, and I'll just show you that it for sure works. Everything saves and loads the exact same way as if you had a disc in there, but there's no disc. It's awesome. So it's going to take you to this screen. You can, you can click on the images, you can download them. I don't know if it takes that long but it's not really necessary. So if you download the covers like I did there, it'll just look like this. It looks nice, but if you go to this selection, give it a second and it should, it should pop up. There we go, now it's popped up. So if you you can play around with this top bar, but I like to just keep it on this because it looks clean. When you got a lot of games, they're, they're organized, and you just click on them, press start. And now we're ready to play. I'll just show you quick that it for sure works. Save, load, play, oh, 2009, wow. That's a long time ago. Here we go! Let's go! Just like that, we're playing Super Mario Bros. If you'd like to learn how to download the ROMs to get them onto the USB stick to play, click the link in, the, in my description and uh, I'll show you on another video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy playing your games and have fun on your Wii. Oh, no.